Okay. Now that we are done for work for the day, let's get on to our play. We got one, two, three product to open. Our what is I've been told of or just basically the prize packs that would have gone into the pool for the limited. Um I knew for sure I wanted a Silver Quill pre-release pack. The Lorehold, I like... <sighs> Lorehold has some really interesting spirit shenanigans. So, and I'm a white player. The white, red, white, black. Um, don't mind these cards. Or do mind them. A little buy a box promo. Seems like a good guy or a good card. Good chick, good dude, whatever. And, uh... Things I needed for EDH, because, you know, Herbworks and Cultivates are always needed. But, let's get to Kraken. And I think, let's well, just go in order of smallest to biggest. <laughs> now, I haven't opened... Okay. Uh, apparently there's Secret Lair promos now. On a pest. <laughs> that back actually looks kind of cool. Have, this is the first of the product I've opened. Um, I was at the card shop and a dude opened a Tefiri. Okay, well, that's a... That's a cool card. A uh, dude opened a Tefiri. Oh yeah, these are the uh, the set booster ones. Dude opened a Tefiri's in front of me. Roll one die, that's all right. And he also got a demonic out of his like prize stuff. I was like, dude. I mean, I really don't need another Tefiri, or Tefiri's protection. But another demonic is always fucking handy, you know? What's our token? Oh. Oh, Defiant Strike. Damn it. I saw a DE. Elemental. We got. Necroblossom. I kind of like the way this card works. It seems very fun. No, oh, in home monitor. Sorry. The camera makes the uh the, with the way that it is, it kind of makes it look like a, a fucking rare. I was like, home monitor is not a rare. Yes, I know secret layers. I already give you my money for those. Because, you know, buying cards directly from Watsy. Um, go blank, okay. Mortality Spear. Neato. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's... Double Major. Love it. Infuriate. Hey! <laughs> uh, new treasure token. Awesome. That, my friends, is a Foil Cultivate. I'm I like what the art represents. I really do. I just I like the other cultivate better. And if he rates also. That's neat. But double major. Oh yeah. Okay. So these would have been my prize packs. That would have been a good prize. A foil cultivate. This video is gonna be forever. But that's okay, because, like, me and no other person watches it. Hey, opt. Dramatic finale. It's... It's okay. Apprentice is neat. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's only target. It's not your creatures. That's... That's not as cool as I thought it was. I was going to use... Oh, sorry, there's a smudge on my camera. I thought it might have been cooler for... Uh, what is that? Sorry, I have the internet open. I have my new computer... Or not new. I have my old computer up. I'll listen to that keyboard. What is the new Cultivate going for? Uh, do-do-do-do... Oh, it's not bad. 
Looks like 450 for the foil one. If I need more, I don't need more. <laughs> but okay. Elephant Man, what do you have? Come on, guys. These have I haven't read up the lore of well, <laughs> the lore of Lorehold. I get it they're like archaeologists. That is that is distinctly not a lore hold card. That is a good card though. Um Yeah, I've been I wa actually wanted it's just the regular foil. There's Is that an arena code? Are they doing that now? I don't know. I just started playing arena like 2 weeks ago. So Yes, that is an arena code. I would flash the code, but I am going to use that. Sorry, guys. That is just a regular foil. It's not like... Oh, I see. Okay, there's the 2021. That's a new standard look for the pre-release, I guess. I don't know if I like it. Uh, I, I like the card, though. That card has a home. It is actually probably going into... Uh... Ooh. Where did I? That mix... This camera makes it look so pink. This is actually really, really red. Actually, it's an orangish red. Okay. What do we got? Lorehold specific pack. Yeah, that's going into Corvold. That card is just... Yep, Lorehold specific pack. Okay, um, you are one of the guys I wanted to tinker with. So that's cool. Uh, Blade Historian's pretty neat. Ooh. Hey, they're talking. Chatty chat chats. Okay, that was... Yeah, this dude is... Yeah. If one more cards leaves your graveyard, you'll create a 3 2 a spirit. I want to rebuild uh, Team America, Team America Spirits, with uh, she's escaping my tongue right now. The bird chick, this flying bird lady, lets you create spirit tokens and sacrifice them for mana. But Quintius Quintarius seems like he'd be really good for that. These are just draft boosters, so we can skip. Bam. Oh, well, eliminates okay. Hey, there's the token to go with him. And Quandrix Command. Awesome. And my kitty pigs are arguing with each other. I don't know who teed off who. Uh, someone probably made fun of Stan. Oh. Oh. Uh. Okay. Oh, that's a negate. That is. See. When he actually focuses on you can tell it's gold. Multiple choices seem... It's an okay card. That negate... Uh, I have a couple of, like pack full in the gates. That can definitely that's not a foil, of course. But definitely can replace some one or two of them. It's pretty in a gate. Bunch of these archives. Why am I doing that to these packs? Bunch of these archives look awesome. Of course the foil one I got is the one I wasn't expecting. Of course. But alright. What would have been a pick out of this pack? Oh, Plex. Hey, Doomblade. The fractals just look so cool. <laughs> that Doomblade. Oh, poor Angel. Just having the worst day. Out there just trying to be heavenly perfection. Obnix decides to just totally... <laughs> Every time I see this, it makes me think I, fuck up, I broke the pack. 
Like, oh, I ripped the card in half. No, just Watsy's my our marketing department being cute. Excavation, a hey, silver cool command. I am trying to use this in standard. Not really working. Oh, <laughs> another defiant strike. So, hooray! If I ever play that deck in modern again, um, I guess I have non foil defiant strikes. <laughs> What is, what, what is this? Is it me? It has to be me. I can't blame the pack because, you know, Watsy never makes a mistake on their packs. Right, Marrow? Right, Marrow? Oh, another Quinn. Another uh, Dr. Quinn. I already, I already got one of you, Dr. Quinn. He's only an uncommon, so whatever. Hey, this? Okay, this would... Oh, Uh, okay, that's a blue sun. That's not really a money maker. Hold on. Uh, bam, blue sun zenith. Yeah, it's it's not much these days. I mean, yeah, I suppose it's like six, five, six dollars. Whatever. It still looks really cool. And you know what? My wizard tribal deck, mono blue wizards, of course. It has one of these in there, but it's just a regular one. So, and of course, Velomachus. And the lore hole, the last of the lore hole packs. You would have been the fucking bomb of that sealed event for me. Yeah. Pretty right. And two of these guys would have been good. Okay, we got oh, cute little divider. Get those out of the way. All right, Sonny boy, I really don't need any of you. Your dad is all right. I actually kind of like the bird half of him more than the actual human half. <gasps> Bam. And. Pretty black dice. Cannot go wrong with the black speckled. Oh, it actually has the school on them. Okay, that's neat. And crackle with power. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty okay. More arena codes you guys will be putting tonight. And what's the card? Silver cool pledge mage. These guys look like they're cool. I mean, go figure the two white schools are the two schools that have like the things I like. People digging up the past. And snide assholes who use uh, ink to attack people. Ink and shadow. And a bunch of vampires. Gotta love the vampires. And of course, Liliana. I mean, Professor Onyx. Camera, work with me here. Yeah, for an uncommon piece of removal, that is not bad. I'm not sure if I'll run it in decks, but it does hit Planeswalker specifically. And yeah. Um, the inner death and taxes player in me saw this guy and got really happy, mostly because, you know, Trixie's Trixie's. You no ink, no ink token, really, guys? I got like three spirits now and a couple pests, but no inks. But yeah, uh, him with Drandeth Magistrate. I know people go around there like, oh, look at this combo, look at this combo. I'm not interested in combos. I am interested in decks that make my opponents hate playing this game. And Death and Taxes is right up that alley. So, we are already 15 minutes in. Let's hurry this up. Packs for the trash.
Another double major. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah, I didn't need you, but you're good. Why is it not like one of the first things that pops up? There you go. Okay, yeah, you're like the cheapest of the versions, but you're still, you know what? Um, that's still a Teferi's Protection. And it's a non-foil version, which means it's not going to warp. I really hate saying that, Watsy. I like having the non-foil version for the first time because it's not going to warp on me. All right, one to Furious Protection. That, that has to be my hands. I looked away from the camera at the computer screen, and I ripped the pack like I'm a freaking neophyte. Another negate. Oh. Um, yeah, you're, you're pretty all right. I mean, blue bird wizard or druid. Yeah. I kind of, the, I don't, I don't remember what the hell this school is called, but the, the summit college school is, it didn't really strike out to me. Usually I like green, blue, Trixie Trixies, but all the cards were just like, Meh? I mean, they got some decent clone effect. At instant speed, which is always handy. Ah, thrill of possibility. Neato. Hey, hey. That's a good. And Josh took it. That is. A welcome card. You're probably not much, but I wanted to test you and play around with you. Um, yeah, it's what the hell's his name? Mavinda? Yeah, Mavinda. Mavinda. Part of me really wants to break this up into two videos because we're already nearing the 20 minute mark. But I also know I'm just too lazy. AK grip. Awesome. And a conspiracy theorist. Okay, loots. Oh, he loots and potentially lets you recast things. That's neato. Awesome, awesome, possum. So we got a K-Grip and a Teferi's Protection and a Blue Sun Zenith. There's really no card in the main set I want. I actually really want to play the fucking... I want to play Professor Onyx. Which just sounds like a freaking Pokemon got its PhD. Professor Onyx. Oh. You're the one that doubles, right? Yeah. Or you just grow things. He's... Good for an undercosted dragon. Another World One Denial, Nito. Come play Arena. We take your money. Now, those were that. This. Is this? I need a drink. Hold on a second. Thank you, local sub shop, which is also a multinational company. Now, I have been given permission today to officially thank online my LGS. Normally, I just call them or whoever got it from my LGS. However, the wonderful gentleman at the Realm, Worcester or uh, Mansfield, Ohio, they uh, they're wonderful gentlemen. I called in actually yesterday. Believe it or not, it's like, hey, pre-order still up, and they're like, yeah, yeah. Uh, you already have yours pre-ordered, right? Or you already have yours. We got you down on the pre-order. Like, I haven't called you yet. Why am I on the pre-order? They're like, oh, yeah, uh, your friend Bubs called and he got his box. 
and he said uh, you wanted a draft box. And usually we have you pay, or we ask everyone to pay over immediately. But you know, we know you. It was like, yeah, I've been doing business with you guys for five years now. Yeah, f- f- oh, probably six years now. Spent a lot of money there, but they know I'm good for it. So I called them and I was like, "Give me the, give me the, uh, the one pre release, the Silver Coolest Prairie Leagues, and the set booster." And they're like, "Oh, you don't want the draft booster?" I was like, "No, I want the draft booster too. Give me the fucking draft booster." We're going to open one, one, and one. Well, now it's one, two, three, four. Next week, we'll get the draft booster for you guys. It was just kind of cool. They recognized... <laughs> Random pack. They recognized my voice over the phone. Probably because my caller ID is set to private. But yeah, those guys are awesome. Uh, I'll probably, when I upload the video, I'll try to see if I can link to their stuff. Or at least their Facebook page. Oh yeah, we got these things again. Ray, Ray. Those are good. They're cool dudes. I don't think they have anything online, but if you're in the area, come check them out. Hey, hey, uh, yeah. Oh, one of the list cards, and it's a fucking noggle. Thank you, Shadow Mark card. Um. Okay, so I got a snarl. That was neato. But yeah, we'll we'll link up to uh, whatever I can for them. Those are good dudes. They're definitely the like. There are some annoying shops in the area, and then, granted, I I do love the fact that within forty minutes of me going one direction, I have like ten places I can go to and play. Some are good, some bad, some mediocre. Like, there's a sports card shop that I've just been buying cards from for nearly 20 years. Like, we used to get boxes of Unhinged, or, uh, yeah, Unhinged or Unglued for, like, 40 bucks, because no one was ever buying it. <laughs> These list cards are killing me, guys. So I gotta talk to him. I'll probably, he's where I get my Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon stuff from. If he wants me to, I'll name drop him for, like, the six people that know my channel exists. And if not, whatever. But the guys at the realm, the mans, M-A-N-N, I believe. The good dudes. You used to play modern standard with them. Then we moved to EDH because casuals. Got it. That's just kind of cool artwork. What the hell are you? Oh, it's, uh, it's Defiant Strike, because I'm I'm a I'm a smart Parthen. All right. Oh, hey, you're actually one. No, they're fucking revitalize. You are one of the cards I kind of thought was cool. Really like like the imagery. I mean, I know some people online are bitching because of that. I was like, dude, I I was a active participant in that religion. For uh, five, six years? Probably closer to seven years. Before I just fell out of religion overall. No one. No one who was an active participant would have been like, that is offensive. Oh. That is a grinny Ignis. That's neat. Hey! <laughs> It is like the least important and simultaneously the most important of the Caldera pieces. That's awesome. The sword is probably my favorite overall. The helmet has all the abilities though. Hel helmet is just pure soup. But that one. That's the one that makes it tick. Oh, did they ever make it? They haven't made a token for that, have they? They haven't made a Caldera token. Watsy, get on the Caldera token. We need a cauldron token. Okay, just because I have to. Oh. Strategic planning. Okay. That's weird. Uh, yeah, you're... I like the backside. Too bad I can't just run the backside of Mono Black. But, no, oh, hey, a command too. I 
so far these packs are pretty all right. Nothing out of this box so far. A couple duds on the fucking the set cards. Bam. Oh, that's cool. Looks like she got some serious Madonna bra there going on, but... Raise your hand if you get that reference. Hey, there's your inkling token. Oh. Relic Sloth. Hey, and hers is a Rage. That's cool. All right, well... <laughs> I love how many things this card gets back. They're just like, hey guys, we need white card advantage. Ah, we'll put it in red, and we'll get back everything but creatures. People like getting back things from the graveyard, right? That's what white does. Like, no, what? See, we want red, or we want white draw. It's kind of like draw, right? <laughs> He's rolling up with the posse, like, what up? Hey, oh. Ask and you shall receive a foil Professor Onyx. Okay. Um, well, let's just... Let's just pop on over here. She's 20 bucks normally. Yeah, she looks like she's pre-selling for 20. And about 25, 30 for this. It's all whatever. I have a deck I want to build. God, stupid spirit. Or... I like the marketing. I also hate the marketing. I have a Grixis Storm list I want to build. And, uh, yeah. I don't even care what these abilities are. It's just that one right there. Okay, <laughs> what else was in the... Oh. I actually needed one of you for my uh, CEDH list. This was the pack. This was the pack. I'm not even... Okay. Okay, uh, that's pretty all right. Go blank. Okay. Um, yeah, we have sleeves right here. You guys actually have a dedicated home. Well, you will soon have a home. You definitely have a home. Bam. A tainted pack and Onyx in the same set. Or the same pack. Shit's good. Okay. Got our elemental. Got our chick that is giving herself a mammogram okay I'm not gonna judge all right yeah yeah hey an STP and a tangle trap neato study up with your elemental sword to plowshares is always handy These ones are potentially four, so yeah. Okay. I mean, pretty all right. Vigilance and Trample is kind of a neat pair of uh, words to have next to each other. And the fact that it gets, what is it, an artifact or is it a creature? A uh, creature. CMC equal to or less than what you hit him with, or hit him for. Pretty all right. You can definitely see like a low value engine there. Okay, we're just gonna do that. Watch as people cringe at me online. Yeah, I mean, I can't deny the art looks good. General's in agony. Oh, that's one of the Japanese ones. Yeah. Bleeding Out Crow Ink. 
Gotta love that crow ink. Bam. Oh. Hey, and there's our demonic tutor. Well, okay, so I was talking about a dude who got the demonic tutor and the teferi. And uh, I got my demonic tutor and my teferi. And a Rowan and her brother. Yeah, these guys, these two are pretty all right. I like the, I like the twin planeswalker feel, vibe they got going on. Yeah, we can just, bam. This is the strict statement box of black spells. Bam. What is the demonic going for? Demonui. No, demonic tutor. Um. Oh, forty-eight fifty dollars. Okay. Uh, fun fact. <laughs> Actually, this is the second demonic tutor I've gotten in two weeks, because I had a friend, old friend. We didn't talk for like five or six years, and he knew somebody. I don't know who was at my house. I had a bunch of magic players one night and somebody stole an enlightened tutor and a demonic tutor from me. I could not fucking find those two cards. Didn't talk to him for, or this guy for like five, six, seven years. First time he's hanging out, he's like, oh yeah, hey, you remember that demonic tutor you were missing? Well, I bought a spare one. Like, it sounds kind of sus, but I know the dude. He's not the kind that would be like, oh yeah, I stole this card from you like five years ago. Here's a back. No, he's kind of like me. He's like, so, hey. Uh, he's kind of like me. He's just like, oh, hey, you wanted this? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> I'd prefer it to be a lightning bolt, but that's okay. So that's cool. It's um, Actually, that one, that demonic tutor is going to go into Aara. Oh, yeah, you can go over here. Don't actually care about those. I know some people collect them. They're things that come out of packs. So I'm just going to collect them. Well, I blow my load. I got my Demonic Tutor. I got my Teferi's Protection. Cards I didn't even really want. And I got my Professor Onyx. Professor Onyx was the only one I cared about. Uh, that is a foil, whatever the hell it is, so... Okay. Apparently there are minotaurs in the fucking the schools. It is a bull in a fucking china shop. It is a minotaur in a scroll shop. Okay. A oh. That is a foil opt. That is cool. Token. But <laughs> oddly enough, I'm more